It is time for the latest episode of this developing drama. Gary McAllister and Derek Gray will guide you through this part of the story. Thank you very much, Daryl. Good afternoon, everyone. Not many cities do history quite like Edinburgh. And the twists and turns of Hibernian and Heart of Midlothian have given this majestic capital city a rich football narrative since the first skirmish on the Meadows back on Christmas Day, 1875. This is another milestone. Never before have Hibs and Hearts met at Easter Road in the second tier of Scottish football. It's one change per side for Hibs. Liam Fontaine has recovered from a thigh injury and starts in central defence to the exclusion of Callum Booth, who drops to the bench. Otherwise, it's the same team that put Livingston to the sword last weekend. Hearts have Danny Wilson fit again following a recent hamstring strain. He comes in to play alongside Alim Öztürk. Out from the side that thrashed Dumbarton goes Jordan McGee. Osman So is the club's top scorer with eight goals. Yeah, the shapes, Hibs will go 4 4 2. The, the makeup in the middle of the park will be slightly different. They'll, be, they'll form a diamond. Robertson will be at the base, handling at the tip, and Alan and McGee are on the sides. Hearts are slightly different, 4 4 2 in their makeup, but they'll play with two traditional wingers in Nicholson and King. The referee is Bobby Madden, who turned 36 yesterday. It's his third Edinburgh derby, following on from the two Easter Road meetings last season. Overcast day here in Edinburgh. It's blustery as well. Fierce southwesterly. 3.7 miles apart, yet 14 points apart in the table. Hibs this Sunday lunchtime No, they need to start gnawing away at Hearts' considerable advantage. The Jambos have prevailed in the club's last three meetings and in five of the past six. Here is Stevenson in position for Hibernian. Well, Gary, for you, what will be the important tactical battles early on? Well, first and foremost, I think the players who, who adapt better to the, to the conditions, I think the wind's going to play a part. But it's just about keeping calm. You know, it's a derby, you know, emotions are high. It's the, it's the players and the team who can get the ball in the deck and just play with a certain amount of calmness. It's controlled by Sufian El Hasnawi. Four hearts up for grabs here. Malonga. Dominic Malonga wearing the number 24 shirt for Hibernian. He scored four goals in seven matches already this turn. Debris having to be removed. Lively atmosphere. Those fans bouncing up and down in the east stand. Malonga. So we've got Öztürk and Wilson side by side in central defence. This helps attempt to build. David Gray steering it back. Dylan McGee. On loan from Celtic. Touch was by Sam Nicholson, the exciting youngster who scored that wonderful goal when last the sides locked horns at Tynecastle. They're up for it today, the Hibs fans. No, it's lively today, uh, due to the fact that there's a, a great Hearts crowd inside the stadium as well. They've packed their end. Morgado Gomes. Almost a dicey moment, Callum Patterson had to intervene. A spin of the turn by Billy King. Patterson to no one in particular. Callum Patterson, who of course was the heart's hero. At this venue back in April. Look at the different sort of strips. The feeling was that the maroon would Flash with the darker bottle green of Hibernian, so that's where we are. Yeah, you can see that, I suppose. Bobby Nielsen, the head coach, to give him his official title of Hard of Midlothian. And what a successful start. So the result go his way in August. It's a new structure for Hearts this season. 
Greg Levine, the director of football. Well, it's been something of a shining new dawn. And Budge, the new owner. The idea is that in time, ownership will be turned over to the foundation of arts. Well, there's a slip there by Paul Hanlon. Whistle's gone there. Osmond Saw just catches Hanlon, he just clips his heel there, and goes to ground. Alan Stubb suffered just two defeats in 15 games against Hearts as a Celtic player. This is 14th match in charge of Hibs. Well, I think he'll be hoping for a similar record in this, this Edinburgh derby. It's been a pretty messy start. You, know, there's, you can see the balloons whipping around the, the surface, a little bit off-putting. And so went up for it to begin with. Wind is not going to die down if we believe the weather forecasters. I don't think it's going in the one direction, that's the problem, it's really swirling around. It's coming from the southwest, but once it actually hits the stadium and hits the various stands, you never know. Uztuk. Born in the Netherlands, in Alkmaar, with a Turkish parentage. Stephen Eckersley, who ventured forward from left back. Scott Allen, he has caught the eye in recent games. The ever reliable Lewis Stevenson now. Allen. Jason Cummings, to steal a march on Uztuk. Back with Neil Alexander. His first Edinburgh derby was born here in the capital and grew up supporting the Jambos. No Liam Craig in the hip starting 11 again. Hosea worked very well for Hibs last week. The system put together by Alan Stubbs. Just the one personnel change with fit again Liam Fontaine in the side. Gray does like to burst forward on the right. Stevenson. And no chance is taken by Adam Eckersley. The concession of a corner. Looks like a harmless ball up to the back post. As you can imagine, Eckersley taking no chances there. Just unaware what was behind him. Scott Allen has come over to take it. Everyone being buffeted by the win. Allen to pick out a teammate. Anderson, of course, so useful in the air. Defensively and in an attacking sense at set pieces. There's Morgado Gomez in pursuit of it. And in front of two benches, actually. Eckersley started his career with Manchester United made one official appearance for the club and that was nine years ago today against Barnett in the League Cup. Well, it's now we a bit disappointed with that decision. Louis just trying to protect the ball, just backing in too much. Nearly seven minutes gone at Easter Road. Great to have the pleasure of your company on this Sunday for the second Edinburgh derby of the championship season. He's looking up at Hearts. Scott Robertson. Straight into the path of Morgado Gomes. Of course, Robertson and Gomes, former teammates at Dundee United. I just think that's a little perfect example of what Gomes brings to, to Hearts. Just stepping across and intercepting any little balls that are trying to go into the, the hips front too. Danny Wilson going from back to front up towards Osmond Sir. Here is Eckersley, joined Hearts in August. Nicholson wasn't going to get there. David Gray, we mentioned the just a United connection as regards Eckersley. And of course, joined the United Academy at the age of 
16. He had been at the Hearts youth school prior to that. And Danny Wilson. David Gray put to work. It's Prince Wabin who went up for the header. Asnawi chasing after it. Trying to chisel his way through. Yeah, his persistence nearly paid off there. It's been a pretty compact look about Hearts this season. Well balanced, Ty Guy. Yeah, and I think that balance and the steadiness comes from the fact that they've got two very experienced players just sitting in front of the, the back four. Wobben and, and Gomez, loads of experience, of playing beside each other. Scott Allen going to ground. Gomez and Wabben, of course, were teammates at Dundee United under Craig Levine. Initially. has joined the throng. Allen with it, took off in the wind. Second pair of hands, Neil Alexander for Hearts. Confidently taken by Alexander. Good ball whipped in by Scott Allen. Hey, Scott Robertson back there defending for Hibernian. This, by the way, been beaten in five matches. In all competitions. Is it a way through here for Hearts? It was Blavin who gave it a lash. That's a fantastic start by Lewis Stevenson. I think it was in getting the block. And Danny Wilson. He gives it to Neil Alexander. It's getting themselves high up the pitch. Hanlon had to keep a weather eye on Blavin earlier. Sure that there was nothing to fire at. It's the first little burst into the final third. It's a good block in the end. And here's Stevenson. Showing for it, Malonga. Not much a technician, Dominique Malonga. Parisian of Congolese parentage. They want the ball, just thinks it forward here to Bowman. Nice little cut back. Falls to Bowman, and there's the block. Super block by Hanlon. Well, a misstep oh, just that's... prior to that, but well, he did the job when it was required. Paul Hanlon, and 0 0 it remains at the Edinburgh Derby. Nicholson. Patterson. Allen was right onto him. Now Cummings trying to make progress with the ball at his feet. Something of the maverick about Jason Cummings, and I mean that in a positive way. Danny Wilson, angled ball from the back, and there's Mark Oxley to grab it. Oxley, who was linked with a possible return to Hull City on loan. Only problem is the rules don't allow for that. But Steve Bruce was of a mind to have him back competing for a place against Liverpool yesterday. Alexander joined Hart of Midlothian in June after his Crystal Palace release. Clean sheets in nine games so far this term. Suffered a fractured cheekbone in August. Into a collision with Alim Özturk, his teammate. <laughs> David Gray to take this for Hibernian. Eckersley, Morgano Gomes, safety first. You'll see one or two balloons out there. Burst, and the official match ball was also suffering the same fate. The placement to be found. 
Gay have wanted to feed it to David Gray. Danny Handling is trying to get there before Adam Eckersley. Paul Hanlon turned out a play by Eckersley. Yeah, Eckersley did well there. Just reacting to the ball, played in behind it, just held up in the wind. Hearts the only unbeaten side in Scottish League football. Robertson, very much a grafter. And Gomes and Eckersley has to get the better of him. Nicholson, this has to be watched closely, Sam Nicholson. A young player with a flair for the dramatic. Yeah, the Hearts will just be hoping to get him in possession further up the pitch. In this 14, 15 minutes, he's got to do his defensive duties back in his shape, but they want him higher up that pitch. Here's Patterson. Billy King. That supporters won't forget that moment against Hibbs. Reminded by King in March, the second goal to put the seal on victory. But Hearts wouldn't be relegated on that particular day. Almost a quarter of an hour gone, Gary. What have you made of it so ah, far? It's fairly even, Stevens. I've had that super block by Hanlon. The only chance. Both teams just sort of finding each other out. A little bit of sparring. Cleverly done. It's no longer to Gray. McGee. Certainly impressed the Hibs supporters. Removed from Celtic as he is. Dylan McGee. Let's try to construct. Eckersley receiving it from Al Hasnawi. Ricardo Gomes. Just released by Dundee United into his second spell at Tannadice. Ah, clever play by Gomes, just protecting his, the ball, using his body well. There's Turk. No chance for Patterson to get there. Stevenson making sure of that. made 43 appearances on loan at Oldham from Hull City last season. So he found the back of the net as a Hibs player against Livingston in early August with a long clearance that came off. McGeer. Paul Hanlon. Liam Fontaine. Adam Booth was playing in central defence last week. He's not really a natural centre back. Absolutely to have Fontaine available once again, but well, it was rugged. Bobby Madden might want a word with Liam Fontaine. Well, I think that I think that's what Fontaine brings to Hibernian. He's certainly a more physical presence. Certainly for set pieces get more height. It's a poor tackle. Well, he gets away with a verbal rebuke. Could easily have been a yellow card. Look who's here today. Jackie McNamara, the manager of Dundee United, along with Darren Jackson. So, of course, they get ready to face Hibbs in the League Cup. And Ali McCoist, the Rangers manager. Rangers continue their pursuit of hearts. Eckersley. Wouldn't stay in play for Sufian El Hasnawi. Because they just try to whip it into that back post area. Discussion on the bench Robbie Nielsen, Stevie Crawford, his right hand man. The adrenaline pumping near Atista Road. I might be biased and some will disagree, but Coronation Street can't light a candle to Hibs against Hearts. It was a little bit tongue in cheek from Fraser Heard. <laughs> Banter, is that what we call it these days? I think so. Fraser Heard of Rangers. With his feelings known earlier about this fixture as to whether he was 
interested in watching it. 50-50, even Steven possession-wise, no scoring. Yeah, no surprises there, Derek. It has been very much the, the case. I think you're pretty safe. Danny Wilson. Danny Wilson, by the way, Vincent in his six derbies. The trend has been Hart's friend for a long time now. He's a quality player, Danny Wilson. That little triangle we've just seen. They're exchanging passes of Gomez, Wabin and him. All very comfortable in possession. Gomi sometimes resembles something of a front sweeper. Absolutely, in that Makaleli position. Handling, change of direction. Robertson. And here are the footsteps of Nicholson. Definitely done by Cummings, here's Danny Handling, and it's opening up, Scott Allen, Malonga, Hibbs couldn't finish off the move. Now Scott Robertson driving Hibernian forward. David Gray, Malonga, it's Allen, and it's Handling, and Cummings trying to react after Alexander got a piece of it, and Hearts can bring it again. Oh, great pressure by Hibernian. Super play. It's a good stop by Alexander from handling. Danny Hadley. Hibbs showing plenty of belief here. Just a little bit surprised. Scott Allen just refused that shot in the first attack. David Gray whips it right across the face of goal. Alexander telling everyone to calm down. Yeah, that's the, this is the second attack. He, he duffs that hit and it falls beautifully for Handley. Side foot. This is down the line of the keeper. A good stop by Alexander. It's an instinctive piece of goalkeeping. 36 year old. Dylan McGeer. No doubt Boyd by the last couple of minutes. Cummings, positive play. Malonga. To, to take it on by himself. Scott Allen. David Gray free on the right. This one so. There's McGee. Takes a swing at the ball. It'll be a goal kick after that. McGeer didn't quite see it that way. This is Scott Allen, there's a good little bit of play here. They work the spare man really well. He chops back inside Parson. Oh, I thought he could have shot there. He goes for the square ball to try and find Malonga. Alexander up towards Osmond So. Paul Hanlon. 204th appearance for Hibernian. His 18th Edinburgh derby. Gray, back to Oxley. That little bit of phase of play from Hibernian due to the fact they get some really good service into handling and to, in, into the feet of Cummings. Scott Allen trying to find his way these last couple of years. Through the ranks at Dundee United. Lewis Stevenson. Reflection there. It's quite right for Malonga. Similar story for Robertson. Eckersley now for the Jambos. Excellent pass. So, with Eckersley. Prince Wabin. Now, look at the freedom afforded Callum Patterson. He could quite believe that. It's a tame ball. Capable of much better. Patterson. Grab in. 
to boss things at midfield. So often on these big derby occasions it comes down to mental fortitude. And Danny Wilson, oh he has to be careful, Cummings was putting him off, Malonga was there too, it's been squandered. Well, Wilson, no two ways about it, has got away with one. Oh, 100%, he gets out of jail. It's just a simple ball over the top. It looks as if he's got full control of the situation. It holds up in the, in the wind, and he just delays. Oh, and he gets ever so lucky. Too hesitant. Malongo is in, he just overhits it. Cummings can't get to it. Oh, he knows he made a big one there. It's the Dumbarton match because of a hamstring strain. Danny Wilson. Hibbs. In the ascendant for the last few minutes. By Osmond So. There's Mark Oxley. Nil nil it remains here at Easter Road. I don't know if it was a little bit of a misunderstanding with the keeper or was it the fact that the wind just held it up. Cummings. Working as a gardener just over a year ago. As though his career had been wrecked by a very bad injury. Of course, Hibbs blocked him from Hutchison Vale. So many great Edinburgh footballers have come through Hutchie Vale. And Nicholson. Like he might be away like a hare on the meadows. And eventually. That's a good recovery back right here. Lovely little first touch by Nicholson round the corner to himself. The Hibs captain does well to recover. Malonga now. Allen. Malonga crying out for it to be played back to him. Inventive player, Scott Allen. Here's the always eager McGee. Handling. Decided to play it back to Allen. have got that defensive block in place. And it's now he defending from the front, and it's Blavin who nicks it back to Alexander. Yeah, that's the area that Hibs are trying to get in. And they have done successfully in the last five, ten minutes. Handling has got himself free from Gomez and Blavin. Look at Fontaine's header. And Cummings, all bounced off him. As we look at the action areas. Starting to take control of the game, a burning and through the, the passing of McGeoch and Scott Allen. Getting loads of touches across the middle third. McGeoch. Here's Handley. Scully by Stevenson. Scott Allen. It's away by Alim Öztürk. But so, Hanlon was on the ground. He's trying to chase down Nicholson. Came off Paul Hanlon. He was committed. Oh, Hanlon losing his footing there. Sliding across. There's Danny Wilson. She's got to try to forget all about that little slip of a few minutes ago. It's gone now. Billy King in a threatening position for Hearts. Fontaine with a header away. Here's Allen. Gray. McGeeuch. Change direction beautifully. Longer for Cummings. Dylan McGee, now David Gray. Hibbs confidently stroking that around. The midfield four and the two centre backs enjoying loads of good possession. Hart seem pretty content to allow Habern in the middle third. Robertson did well to feed Gray. 
towards Wilson. We've got boot on ball. And that's now a Nicholson. The pressure was being applied by Scott Robertson. Can't throw that time. And Hebs Bench not happy again. So Nicholson, another in the Jambos team who grew up supporting the club. And Stubbs just having something to say to Crawford Allen, the fourth official there. And Nicholson going on the outside. That's, that's that second leg that wraps round as the as the problem. It's a poor challenge. David Gray didn't really middle it. And just two wins. In the last 19 derbies for Hibernian. As Alan Stubbs was pointing out before a ball was kicked. Nothing to do with him, those previous matches. Yeah, just nothing to do with many who are wearing the Hibernian colours today either. Yeah, it's almost an upwards look forward. Patterson cutting in this time. The King had moved into the centre as well. Skilmis. Robertson had the beating of him. Dominic Malonga. And continuing, as Turk had vacated his position. There's McGeeach. Scott Allen. Oh, bold effort from there! Had the confidence to take it on. Well, there wasn't a great deal happening in front of Scott Allen. As you can see, he comes inside here. There's not a great deal of movement. And he thinks, I'll have a pop. Alexander worried a little bit. It's a decent strike. Inside the final 15 minutes of the first half. Fast and feisty so far. Just as we anticipated. I tell you that referee Bobby Madden just earlier made his way over to the Hibs bench. Turn the ball to, as we say here in Scotland, keep the heat. Yeah, I think Alan Stubbs is, is feeling as they, they, there's two or three decisions have gone against them on that side. Stevenson, the serving player on the Hibernian staff. His first derby appearance was way back in April 2007. Fontaine from the back. So Johnson against Motherwell in the Scottish Premiership is coming your way this Friday. That's on BT Sport 1. 7.30 our start time. We're also with you a week from tomorrow. We'll be in Dingwall for Ross County against Aberdeen, Monday the 3rd of November, 7.30. And tomorrow you can catch up with all the highlights and goals in the weekend. It's our SPFL Roundup programme, 5.30, the time you need to know about. El Hasnawi. Gomis. Eckersley comes off Gray. McGeeach was trying to rob him of the ball. And Oxley, and he skewed that one. Yeah, just sat up on the keeper there just as it arrived at him. Now has Dowie. It's neat play now, Eckersley. And so was the intended target. Corner here to Heart of Midlothian. Yeah, Liam Fontaine with the clearing head up. So tried to just make a little run across the face of him. Hart's first corner, second in total in this derby. Billy King will deliver. Danny Wilson has gone forward at the set piece. 
Conte watching Wilson. King. He's got to keep an eye out for Patterson as well. Handling. Fontaine. There's Turk. More difficult than it looked initially. Patterson. Just trying to use his physique to protect the ball. There's Turk. He's had a wonderful season so far, Ali Merz Turk. Now Wilson. A bit of forward momentum. Eckersley. So keep it on the ground. It's King. And away by Gray. That's good defending by Habernin. Snapping in at the tackles. His heart's trying to just work a little way through this tight Habernin defence. Start to any league season for Hearts since 1905-1906. In that campaign, they also have a record of nine wins and one draw after ten games. What happened in the eleventh match? Well, they drew that one, one-one against Dundee. Allen, Gomez closing him down. He'll feel that he did his job. Wilson likes to run at opponents. Flag is up here. Gomez kept going. That's a good counter attack here. Sam Nicholson's going over to the right hand side. Well, so is off. He's off, obviously offside, but doesn't touch the ball. Gomez is just, just drifting off. Very little on it. Maybe the referee was flagging for Sol. Douglas Ross, the assistant referee on the far side. Officials have got to make these decisions in a fraction of a second. He always throws that grey area up. So was definitely offside. Was he interfering with play as he stepped over the ball? Oh, here's a wonderful opportunity. El Hasnawi foiled by Oxley. And it was misjudged by Hanlon. It's all happened in a blink of an eye here at Easter Road. Oh, it's just a, just a little loss of concentration. Asanui, he knows he should have scored. It's a long raking ball through the middle. Misses everybody, skips past Hanlon. He's in on the keeper. Keeper stands big. Oh, he, should, he should score, maybe go low up the keeper's right hand side. It's a nice, comfortable height for Oxley. Sufian El Hasnawi, who turns 25 on Tuesday. Robbie Nielsen is trying to provide his players with a bit of encouragement. One or two defensive wobbles. Hopes have threatened at times in this first half, but still it's nil-nil in the Edinburgh derby. Fontaine. We're going to have to bind together. It's defenders, it's David Gray and it's Mark Oxley. Perhaps it's just starting to look dangerous on the counter-attack. There's Turk, so that he was trying. The idea was to release Osman So. Malonga for Gray. Wilson, obviously he's going to be called upon. In for it, he's been penalised. Graham Chambers, the assistant referee on the near side, helping out Bobby Madden, the referee. He's come as goes, maybe just a bit high with the challenge. Eckersley there. I see a great deal in it. Good opportunity for Scott Allen to whip a dangerous ball in. Allen's delivery. Alexander was never in any doubt about 
whose ball that was going to be. Quickly bowling it out to Nicholson. Kick and Nicholson do like to switch flex. Keep the opposition on its toes. Again looking to counter, but Robertson was equal to it. It's confident play by Gomez, and away now goes Prince Wabin. Having to backtrack. Nicholson. Gomez for Eckersley. Wabin. Eckersley continuing his canter. Right into the Mark's technical area. Richard Hibbs overall poor Derby form. If you look at Derby's here at Easter Road, just two wins in the last 14 league meetings of the Edinburgh pair. Stop the rot. And that's Nowy. So, to the tumble. And he came back to Bosman. So, King. That's the brother of Adam King who went off to Swansea. Eckersley. Never very far from the surface in the capital derby. Comes off Scott Allen this time, and Hearts have succeeded in forcing another corner. Yeah, Hearts patient in the build up. Comes back in plenty of numbers. Oh, Patterson. It's Paul Hanlon for company. Danny Wilson. Too far away either. It's a key confrontation, you just feel that one. Hanlon and Patterson. And that's going to be routine for Oxley. Okay. Bowling it out, Cummings. Handling's away. Back to Cummings. It's gone begging. Well, again, it's clever fielding, but from Oxley, the keeper, they work it well. Handling and Cummings combining well. It's a nice little cutback, he took a touch, tries to take it first time. Just opened his foot up a little bit too much. I think it was a chance to put his laces through it. Not quite the zinger that time. Wasn't the zinger on his right side. He is very capable, Jason Cummings. David Gray. That's quite the exchange. Between Gray and Billy King. Well, these are little situations that defenders love. He's 80-20% in favour favourite to win this one. If I was advising young Billy King, I'd be telling him to get hurdled over that one. by Robertson, Malonga, just crowded out by Gomez, referee says free kick to Hibbs. I think Gomez fairly got a lot of the ball there. And Hibbs knocking on the door again. I think back to the April Derby meeting here at Easter Road. 13 players used by Hibbs that day. Seven of the 13 have left the club. Cummings probably fancies this. You never know what's coming next from Jason Cummings. Took a deflection. And Alexander has to watch it all the way. Here yeah, comes a corner. The confident Cummings is on it. Nice to hit a Ronaldo-esque type of strike. 
the goal. Patterson. Scott Allen to take this for Hibernian in the last couple of minutes of the first half. Allen, a useful one, and it's Cummings, and is it going to be bottled over the line? Yes, by Malonga! Somebody Malonga wheels away! An explosion of green and white! Hips in front in the derby! Oh, the stadium erupts, it's a driven ball in by Scott Allen, it's messy, it's Bagatelle, it's bouncing everywhere, great clearance off the line! Falls to the left peg of Malonga, and it's dispatched highly up into the net. Oh, it's everywhere, and it crashes it high up into the net. What a wonderful time to score. Alan Stobbs waited and watched, and then punched the air with delight. Hearts chasing this game. And we haven't said that too often in recent Edinburgh derbies. What an eruption here at Easter Road. Place is jumping. They haven't faced too much adversity this season, Heart of Midlothian. But they know they're in a game here. It's a good driven ball into the box. Hibbs kept it alive, they kept it in the box. It was scrambling and rattling around there and when it fell to the left peg of Malongo crashed it high into the net it's great Malonga half time whistle beckoning Robertson and there it is the first half comes to an end Hibernian tails are up, Dominic Malonga giving Hibs the lead, finishing from close range after a bit of a scramble inside the penalty area, and Hearts have plenty of thinking to do. It does, I mean, we saw them coming out early and we thought that's quick, and that's obviously what they want to say to the right message that they're up for the second half. OK, thank you, gentlemen, here come Hibs, so back over to Gary McAllister and Derek Gray. Far too many tame Hibernian performances in recent derbies, but they are well up for this one and deservedly lead by a goal to nil. Dominic Malonga finishing from close range. Sure-footed when he needed to be. Malonga's fifth goal as a Hibs player. And Hearts have a lot on their plate this Sunday lunchtime. You're wondering, by the way, the last time Hearts came back from a half-time deficit to win at Edinburgh Derby. A while ago now, November 2002, it was here at Easter Road. They prevailed by two goals to one with Phil Stamp scoring near the end. He, of course, got himself sent off for the excessive nature of the celebration. Scott Allen on the front foot. Away by Prince Blavin for Hearts. Here's David Gray. Malonga, Gray, circulating the ball. McGeeach, trying to dig in, Hanlon turns it out. Gary, what are you looking for in the second half? Well, I just thought, I thought Hibbs dominated the centre of the park, Gordon touched on it, I thought Hearts is too wide midfield, players were a little bit too wide at times, you know, allowing Hibbs to have that numerical advantage with them playing a narrower fort. Maybe young Nicholson and King have just got to step in the park a little bit when they're not in possession. I, I think it's the same again for, for Hibernian, they were excellent. McGeeock and Robertson who took little spells at playing at the, the base of the diamond, I thought they were excellent. And handling was getting in good areas. Yeah. Adam Eckersley, tasked with taking the throw for Hearts. Morgado Gomes. So, he's watching it all the way. This was Paul Hanlon. Paul continues. Malonga. Here's McGeer. And Gray. Measure Paul and Cummings. He's trying to reach it. Allen now for him. It's Malonga with a glancing header. 
A good phase of play by Hibernian. Patient in their build-up. Works its way out to Scott Allen wide in the left here. Whips it in. It's a clever little glancing head up. Unfortunate there, Malonga. Spent a lot of time in Italian football with Torino, Foggia, Cesena, Vicenza. Was playing in the Spanish second division last season for Real Murcia. Wabin. Shutting it out of play in the end. Had to. Malonga. The sun just breaking through the clouds. Here on the Scottish capital. And the Tigerish play by Robertson. Scott Allen. Wabin trying to defend the ball for the challenge from Prince Wabin. Just outside the box. It will be a free kick and a yellow card for Bwabin. And Bobby Madden's in a fantastic position, right up with play. Allen driving into the box, so you can see clearly just a half a yard outside the area. Yes, it was perfect refereeing. And can Hibbs make hay again? Score just before half time through Malonga. Tension building. And Malonga crashing the goal on his left peg, going his right. Dominic Malonga against the wall. Here's Scott Allen. Oh, his radar more than a little wonky. Fires into the wall, falls nicely for Scott Allen. He just slices it wide. It's a real positive run by Scott Allen to win the free kick. Ten goal attempts by him, says against two for the Jambos. Five of the ten for the High Bees on target. It's a well merited lead. Here's Cummings. Right and very breezy at Easter Road. Malonga trying to control the ball with his head. And Alexander in his first Edinburgh derby and to pick the ball out of his own net. Patterson. It's a bit clumsy, the two strikers. Going after it, El Hasnawi, and so for Hearts. It's the two Hearts strikers who collide with each other. It's the Hibs defender, Fontaine, who, who gets the free kick. A little windy there. Oxley then for Hibernian towards David Gray. Well, Hearts were out nice and early to start the second half, but it's, it's Hibernian who've started the better. This has been so. Unable to win it, however. Lewis Stevenson. Wasn't a bad idea. Wilson and Öztürk combining. And joining forces, the two centre-backs. Here's Robertson now, and Cummings. He had Malonga just to his right. Away goes Gomis. Looking to disguise the pass. It's intended for Osman So. He's had to be mindful of his position. Yeah, he just halted his run. Aware that he'd, he'd gone offside. Gray up to Malonga. Lee and Wilson looking to keep Malonga in check. Rogaro Gomes. French born, but of course, Senegalese parentage. It's getting harder and harder to tell a player's nationality nowadays. Born in one country. 
Father from a different country, mother from a third country. And you can play with one country and switch to another as yeah. well. Nicholson. Now Eckersley for Hearts. Goal kick. Well, Patterson was arriving on the scene. Yeah, they want the ball from right to left. Eckersley in acres of space. It's a bit of a cross shot. Just goes beyond Patterson, who's coming in on the right side. Robbie Nielsen able to get his message across at half time. It's really we've seen so much go their way this season. New ownership, the new managerial model. Cummings trying to discomfit Wilson. He's given it to McGee. with a short ball to Prince Blavid. It's very versatile, Patterson. Sort of play up front for Hearts. Nice to be at right back. Eckersley. King wanted it. Nice to control the ball, Billy King. Prince Blavid. And the block was by Paul Hanlon. Push a one for Hibbs. Patterson now. Two the players inside the penalty area. And they had Osman So and others. Billy King now. And it wouldn't quite happen. Yeah, pressure starting to build from Hearts. This is a wicked cross in by Patterson. Whips it in there with loads of pace. Keeper does enough just to stop So. That's the sort of quality. Strikers thrive on. And Jamie Walker getting his instructions from Robbie Nielsen. 21-year-old local boy. And Mark Oxley in no particular rush, and he's hearing it from the Hearts supporters behind that goal. In the Dunbar end, as certainly it used to be called. And after the old juice factory. Juice here in Edinburgh, of course, nothing to do with what you might have for breakfast in the morning. It's a reference to a soft drink. So, Jamie Walker. Can he change the course of events here? Scored a couple of goals in ten appearances this season. And off is going El Hasnawi. Has now had a good chance, well, the great chance in the first half. But apart from that, it was very quiet. Can Walker just give them a little bit something different? Some Nicholson, natural runner and opponents. Here's Blavin. Contain it, step forward. Gomez now. Most immediate activity for Walker. It's a low ball, and oh, it was so near. Well, Patterson tried to bundle it over the line. Oxley really had to contemplate it. Well, there's nothing better than getting involved early on. This is his first touch. He's whips it to that near post. Oxley gets a bit of it. And it's cleared for the corner. And Billy King. And there is Oxley. And it was a weak corner in the end, of course. The wind does make it very unpredictable for whoever was taking the free kicks and corners. No, that was a that was a poor delivery. Just floated into the arms of Oxley. Eleven minutes into the second half. Malonga. Oh, Cummings was waiting on the doorstep. It's Allen. Blocked by Patterson. Stevenson. Allen. He's trying to judge the bounce of it. Scott Allen. Now David Gray. Inside flag is up. Yeah, the offside flag went up, but there was a 
There's a good advantage there for Hearts. There's going to be another substitution. Jordan McGee has been going through his paces. And Danny Wilson hands off the armband. Yeah, just noticed in Danny Wilson's recovery run back there. He looked in a little bit of trouble. I hope it's not a reoccurrence of the, the problem he's had. So Jordan McGee gets the nod. Danny Wilson did have his problems earlier. One ball that was fed through that he misjudged. So McGee, the 18 year old, is on. Started the three matches prior to this one. Here's Blavin. Checking off, Prince Blavin! All his own work. That's clever play by Blavin. Just driving into the Hibernian box, just tries to stand it up to the back post. Just nobody arriving. Could he have whipped it across the, the six-yard box? He just tries to dink it up. Maybe the wrong decision. It's Blavin, born in Ghana, moved to the Netherlands at the age of nine. Came through the Ajax school. In the academy, just known as, appropriately, the Toekomst, the future. Present. Looks bright for Hibernian, but a long way to go in this derby. Ah! David Gray. It's getting tangled up, it's quite the scrap over there. And Tempest getting frayed, Eckersley and Gray. <laughs> of course, they both have Manchester United in common, the two of them. And it was about to escalate, but they had the good sense to back off. <laughs> Ended amicably. Fighting for the ball, that's what you expect in the derby, there you go, bit of wrestling. A wee bit of a right hook, but then, <laughs> that's a loving. Danny Handley. Lewis Stevenson. Inching towards the hour mark. Danny Handley. Dylan McGeer. Dylan McGeer circling there against Gomez. And it's just on a corner out of that, and it makes with the approval of Alan Stubbs. Yeah, McGeer didn't have many options there. He was outnumbered, battled away, one in the corner. He was on Danny Wilson, by the way. It is indeed the hamstring. It's a sad one. Scott Allen's corner, it's Paul Hanlon's header. Not really close to the target in the end. Well, this time Allen tried to just drive into that near post area. Try to pick up the run of Hanlon. Just slightly behind him, just comes off his shoulder. Patterson with the throw. There's Blabin. Walker. Jimmy Walker. And Hallam doing well in the defensive area this time. I think he's had two real important blocks. One in each half. Full control by Osman Sir. Swedish born of Senegalese descent. Got of record in this derby. Malonga providing it. This is the finish, this is the goal. Cummings off the line, King off the line from McCummings' effort, falls to the left peg of Malonga. It's a good finish, high up into the net. And Scott Allen. Tripped by Nicholson. Eighth start of the season. What a 
creativity in his makeup. Yeah, when, when BT were at Ibrox, I thought he was really impressive against Rangers. Nico is impressive today, getting loads of touches. And McGee are coming more and more into this game. Allen now with Boabin backing off. Prince Boabin's challenge. That's to be a goal kick. And Scott Allen going for the outside of Prince Bobbin. And a win for Hibbs in this derby. Would suit this man. Andy McCoist in attendance, watching from the main stand here at Easter Road today. Just brings Hearts a little bit closer to his side. Don't forget, Rangers come to Edinburgh to face Hearts in November. See on BT Sport. And by McGee. Here's McGee for Hearts. Eckersley, King. And fell nicely for Hanlon. Longa. Well, it's worked really in his favour. There's Turk. He's got himself into a spot of bother. Scott Allen. Oh, Gomes, who has taken over the captaincy role from Danny Wilson. He's gone off. Stevenson. Too much on it for Malonga. Gray. He's trying to hit from a different angle. Cummings. He's on essentially. Allen, Stevenson, and by Öztürk, Anderson succeeded in keeping the ball in play, and Stubbs looked on as Fontaine toppled over, looked like a free kick, Fontaine just tries to dink this up the line, and so just pushes him over, Everybody missed it. And again, it's gone all the way forward. This time, Nicholson for Hearts. And it happened in a flash. That's a long, hopeful ball. Fontaine miss, judging the flight. That's a decent effort. And now Stubbs with Bobby Madden, the referee. He's not missing his words here, Bobby Madden. Both able to smile at the end of the conversation. But just in this little, little patch in front of the dugouts, Alan Stubbs just isn't happy with There must be three, four, five decisions now that have gone against his team. Well, the King just driving inside. One hearts nil. Dominic Malonga's goal, the difference. Malonga looking for a bit of sympathy and getting it, winning the free kick. Well, the high bees got their bounce just before the interval. It's been a strange season for him, it's a mixed bag of results. A few disappointing ones, but. Sensational ones, in particular the victory at Ibrox. Well merited one. Allen and Malonga's in there again trying to cause havoc. Well, it's going to be a corner. And again, it's the delivery of Scott Allen. This time just whipping out of the penalty spot. This comes off the defender in the end. Comes off McGee. Jordan McGee got that touch on it. Longo was competing for the ball. Scott Allen. That's a decisive punch by Neil Alexander. Sam Nicholson, who fired in that shot just a couple of minutes ago. This one so. Progress being tracked by Scott Robertson. Very effective play by Robertson. 
handling now for Hibbs. McGeeck. Optimistic shot for handball as it came off the midriff of Eckersley. And again, we see the importance of Robertson and McGeeck. A lot of unselfish work by those two today. Scottish Championship. Dominic Malonga's goal. And it's Celtic 1, Kilmarnock 0 in the Premiership. John Gadetti's strike there. That kicked off at 1 o'clock, just 15 minutes after we did. Kilmarnock also down to 10 men there. Manu Pascali sent off. Anderson did well enough. Here's King almost hitting the byline. Would have been spectacular from Patterson. It stays alive for Eckersley. Into the heart supporters behind the goal. The frustration continues for the Jambos. Somewhat wasted there. It's clever play by Billy King. He thinks up. Parson goes for the spectacular. So does Eckersley. It's high and wide. Get a card for Oxley. More time wasting. Not his first defence guy. Yeah, one, two, three, maybe four times. Gray. Jordan McGee to react for Hearts. There's Blabin. Gomez. Yet to taste defeat in the championship. Prince Flavin. Can they get the shot in here where they try to create through Patterson? Oh, it was missed completely by Billy King after good work from Jamie Walker. Eckersley. Well, nobody wanted it. Oh, a complete miss kick there by, by King. It's gone Scott Allen, that was Morgano Gomez, and the yellow card is produced. Well, Gomez might have collapsed in a heap. He's going to be the player to see yellow. And the captain gets the, gets the yellow. Just, ah, it's, it's clumsy, it's a clumsy challenge. Walker does well, he's waiting for Parson, waiting for the support. Just delays it nicely. Great cutback. Complete. Just misses it completely. So Gomez in the book of Bobby Madden. Stevenson tried to give it to Malonga. A noisy Sunday here at Easter Road, and most of the noise being generated by the Hibs fans. They have been outshouted by the Hearts counterparts in many a recent derby. No, it's the first time I've seen the Hibs crowd as, as supporters that they've been today. <laughs> 3,800 Hearts fans. An official crowd of 14,562. That's a great crowd for the championship. Hearts allocation, by the way, sold out in just a few days. Seek to be had there. Captain like sardines. It's McGee and it's Alexander. It was neatly done. Good skills by the keeper. Wabin's pass. Alim Öztürk. Got a Patterson. Here's the looking ball. Oh, I tell you, this is this is one of many. Again, just gets it outside his right foot and whips it into a real dangerous area. It's good, good defending by Gray. Bobby Nielsen had something to say to Carlo Patterson. Words of advice. 
And just keep doing it. I'd imagine that's what he's saying. The great ball's in. It's uh, about to make a double substitution. So Stanton has been getting ready. Alec Harris as well. Eckersley. to get there, Boivin Patterson, Hearts trying to get the ball to Callum Patterson when they can he's really in a position to do damage with a cross that time Scott Allen and Danny Handling will be the two players to depart Alec Harris and Sam Stanton at the ready Will be double substitution time. Crawford Allen there, they call the visual, just making sure that everything is displayed correctly. And Scott Allen really has caught the eye in this derby. Alec Harris, a true flyer, pace merchant, is on. And the other change sees Danny Handling make way for Sam Stanton. Yeah, both, both did a good shift. Scott Allen in particular, I thought he was excellent today. But two players, two offensive players coming on. Two local boys to boot. Two Edinburgh lads. Conte, judge it. Hibbs trying to see this out. Marks half threatened. Especially down this right hand side. We've got the ball out to Parson. Whipped in two or three wonderful balls. And King is reaching for it. There's Lewis Stevenson. And a longer. And Stanton who tried to drag it forward. A longer. And it's going to be a free kick to Hibernian. A little bit blatant there, Patterson with shove on Malonga. Things, of course, have got an important League Cup quarter final date with Dundee United coming up, but first things first. Will they prevail in the derby, the second capital derby of the season? Gomez. Eckersley, Stanton, bounce off him. Walker, wanted to get the return ball from Osman So there's no foul play. And Gomez, a misstep by Stanton, Poivin. And Hart throw at Hibbs in the final 15 minutes of this game. Jordan McGee for the Jambos. Jordan was only happy to release it. It's all about Nicholson's explosive potential. Longer. Slightly wind affected. Gomez. Sure enough on the ball at the end. Ustjuk. Walker Robin Jamie Walker and the thickest of Hibbs players to play his way through and now it's opening up for Cummings and Alex Harris has plenty of pace Harris for Hibernia Malonga was waiting Patterson was able to get back. Yeah, good defending, Patterson covering in. Good counter attack. It's off the back of solid defending, back in numbers, matching the runs of the Hearts attackers. Ozturk, Wabin, 
getting into the centre forward position that time. Here's McGeeff now. They want the heel of Cummings. Sucking up the pressure, trying to hit on the break and finish this. And it's Hart's turn now. Osman So. Sam Nicholson. And the concession of a throw in by Lewis Stevenson. The instructions coming from Robbie Nielsen. The legendary Tommy Walker, former Hearts player and manager. Now, Tommy Madden's got a bit of sorting out to do here. What a card, Stevenson has kicked it away. Not like Stevenson to react. Again, it's Jamie Walker who's been, who's certainly made an impact coming from the bench. Can Hearts conjure Adam Eckersley He's keeping Kevin McCatty out of the out of the the inside. A nervous behind that goal as Eckersley takes it, and it's very ordinary. Insufficient guile from Eckersley, you've got to say. Now Walker, that's much better from the Hearts point of view. Nobody's able to pick up the teammate and Patterson with the talent to the back. He's in red. Callum Patterson is off. It was a risky challenge. Patterson knew it. And Bobby Madden did not hesitate. When he gives the referee no choice here. It's off the bad three kick, you know, and it's a stud right in the calf. That's not acceptable. Frustration creeps in and he just drags it down the calf of Malonga. Callum Patterson from hero when last Hearts were at Easter Road to villain today in Leeds. Uh, Bobby Madden's uh, is the, a cracking game, but he had no option there. He was right on it again. So a red card for the Maroons right back. It was with a numerical advantage. They've held the lead since just before half time. They've been excellent in possession. That's exactly what they've got to do now. Just keep that ball. Cummings leading the line. Here's Robertson. Acres of space for Stevenson. Stevenson putting it to Sam Stanton. And Cummings with a header. Has it taken them long to use the the extra man? They watch Stanton into this left side here. He thinks it up. Cummings just can't keep it down on target. There's been so much talk about negativity from Hibs fans, not least from Leanne Dempster, the recently appointed chief executive. She got involved in a fans forum. Online, but I must say they've been very positive today. They've been encouraging, and it's McGee and away goes Maronga. Offside though. Looked as though he had the freedom of Easter Road, Dominic Maronga. Just strange guy. Yeah, hearts to start to take chances here. Squeezing right up to the halfway line. Malonga just went a little bit too early. It's inches. Billy King. Nine minutes of normal time remaining. Hearts reduced to ten. Oh, they're still trying to get in behind the Hibs defence. And Billy King. And he knows all about dramatic late goals in the derby. The Hibs have defended the cross as well. And again, it's Hanlon. King's corner. Paul Hanlon once more. Harris. Nicholas Lee. It's 
going to be Hanlon's ball. The idea was to get it to Cummings. It's Wabin. Usually see him all the way back defending there. Morgano Gomez. It's a real test of Hart's metal. Matthew Kennedy is preparing to come on for Hibbs. Wabin. Now Walker. Gives it to Guabin. Nicholson. Into the new for his way into a decent position. Guabin. And it's Osman so wide of the mark. Oh, a little phase of play where it looks as if Hearts are the, the spare man. It's rather wasted the effort by Sol. Well, off is going Jason Cummings. It will be the Hibernian change. Jordan McGee, meanwhile, just receiving advice from Robbie Nielsen. But Cummings will be replaced by Matthew Kennedy, 19 year old. Joined in August on loan from Everton. No spell lasting until January. Stevenson. 11 against 10 if you just joined us. Alan Patterson ordered off for Hearts. Dominic Malonga's goal representing the difference. Stevenson. It's Malonga. He's trying to lose Boabin. And it slithers out of play. The frustration of Jordan McGee. It's McGee at right back now. Boabin, as you can see, is next to Oosturk. Eckersley at left back where he started the game. McGee. Almost lost out to Stanton. Great Hibernian surname, that. Classic. Then they just want to keep the ball in this corner as long as they can. If you'd had a dink at the table, as they say here in Edinburgh, before a ball was kicked, you'd have noticed that Hibs were, I think, 14 points behind Hearts. The priority was to close that gap. They've been participants today, these hip supporters. Oh, that'd be really impressive. There's been a call for the fans to get behind their team. And they've shown it in abundance today. Plenty to shout about. Loads of pleasant. And it's using McGeeach. To get that one to curl. Oh, and it wasn't all that far away. Fontaine attacking the ball. Corner. He has ball up to the back post. He just gets the better of. Wonderful vocal backing for Hibernian. The Derby victory in sight. Harris with it. Oh, it's required a little touch. Nobody able to apply that touch. I don't know if this was intentional. Just tries a little glancing dive in Heather Hanlon. Hart's turn to go to the bench. Will be Robbie Buchanan to come on. It's all for Billy King. Buchanan, the 18 year old. That's Academy product. It's only his second appearance for the club. Billy King had that miss hit. Fresh air shot, that wonderful chance. Time running out for Hearts. 
Buchanan. To force a mistake from Gray. Initially, how many want to throw the ball to? Jenny Walker. Margaro Gomes. Showing too much of it to Robertson. Buchanan's pass. And Eckersley with the flexion there. And a corner to the Jambos. I think young Alec Harris just nearly gets caught in the blind side here. But cleverly stands up. If he's committed to the challenge, could have been a penalty. The ten men of hearts. So, they've been told by Graham Chambers to make sure the ball's inside the quadrant. It's high in the air. Relatively easy take for Oxley. So Johnson against Motherwell is coming up. That's on Friday. The Scottish Premiership BT Sport 1. A week tomorrow, more action for the Premiership will be in Dingwall for Ross County against Aberdeen. And you can see all the goals from this weekend's action around the SBFL, our roundup show, 5.30 tomorrow. BT Sport 1. The Hearts have scored seven league goals in the final five minutes of matches this season. They need another one here, but they're having to do it the hard way. Yeah, with ten men. It's a big ask. I'm sure they'll give it a final push going towards their own fans. There's Turk. Dylan McGeeach. There's Turk once more. Scraped away by Fontaine. Comes off. Kennedy, who is fighting for it. minutes of normal time. It'll be interesting to see how much time is added on to the 90. Walker. There's Turk. Nicholson wanted it played to him. There's Turk obliged, but Sam Nicholson penalised here. Trying to go around Scott Robertson, guy. Okay. Yeah, just as he plays it around one side, just pulls him back there, there's a little tug. Indications are four added minutes, we'll find out officially any second now. Is it going to be four, is it going to be five? But Alan will be the man to provide the answer. There it is, four minutes. Confirmed now, minimum of four added minutes. Nail biting time. Well, they've thoroughly enjoyed themselves. You can't believe well, they, it. They have you been enjoying themselves till they heard that it was four more minutes. Nearly there, lads. <laughs> Robbie Nielsen. And hearts, they've been invigorating, they've played imaginative football so far this season, but coming up short today, so far at any rate. Yeah, I just thought they were a little bit, bit soft up front, lacked a little bit of punch in the final third. So forward by Fontaine, towards Maronga. I don't think the spin of the ball might allow him to have a crack at goal. Still hope for Hearts. Dwabin. Kennedy doing the pursuing. There's Turk. Oh, it was ambitious from there! But what a sizzling goal! It's out wow. of this world! From Alim Turk. Expect the unexpected in an Edinburgh derby! We always say it, Ersturk, living proof of that fact. Oh, that end of the ground just explodes. I was just saying to myself, what on earth are you thinking? Wow, wow, what a strike. Just one step out of his feet there, and what a strike.
the depth, the pace, everything about this is just top, top draw. So it's, it's got to be 40 yards, the depth. Oh, no, has got no chance. I'm just thinking, don't, don't do it. Oh, go on then. What a strike. What a, what a wonderful, wonderful goal. In at a time. They cannot believe it. Not a moment to take your breath away. Irrespective of who you support. Alim Öztürk from miles out. His first goal for Hearts. What he won't soon forget, Gary. That's what makes these derbies so amazing. You just never know, you can never predict. And when he picked the ball up, Derek, there was no danger. He was 45 yards away from goal. He took it on three or four, and it's moving all over the place. Dip, pace, you can see what it means. 16th different player to find the net for Hearts this season. It's a maroon scene away to our right. Yeah, remember, there are only 10 men as well. It's the centre half straight and forward. And well, they've done it again in the last five minutes of matches. Eight goals this season now for the Jaunty Jambos. But Alan Stubbs is going to have to pick up his team after this because victory was in sight. Then there was Alim Öztürk. Will we see a better goal in, in any league in this country? I don't know. That is just a, an amazing strike. Especially under the circumstances, down to ten men. Well, it looked as though Hibernian were going to be the first team to truly hold Hearts feet to the fire in the championship. Last few seconds now. I'm still a bit stunned up here. Well, quite a strike. Montaigne, offside flag had gone up. And it might be him's last statement. Just looking down at the pitch to see where the grain of the grass, what, what part of the, the pitch he took the shot from. It's, it's over 40 yards. Alain Öztürk with a wonder goal for Robbie Nielsen's hearts. In added time at the end of the derby, Dominic Malonga fought. He had done enough with his goal on the stroke of half-time. It's a draw, but it might just feel a bit like a victory if you're a Hearts fan watching this. Mark Oxley trying to come to terms with it. And so, honours even, a point apiece here at Easter Road, the second derby of the season. It is finished. Hibernian won, Heart of Midlothian won. Derek, Gary, many thanks indeed. We said brace yourself for some drama. I'm not sure anyone saw that coming. An unbelievable end to the match. What a finish for Robbie Nielsen. They are still undefeated in the league. And they really couldn't have done it in any more dramatic fashion. Let me tell you what we've got coming next. BT Sport in Scotland from the Premiership this coming Friday night. St Johnson against Motherwell. Well, really need a victory in that. That's 7.30pm BT Sport 1. This then is the Scottish Championship table. Hearts extended their lead at the top then with that late leveller. Seven points clear of Rangers now. Hibs are up a position as well into the playoffs. Fourth there, 15 points. Late, late drama. Hibs thought they'd won it when Malonga scored, but then big Alan Ozturk, a centre half, decided to take aim from very, very far out. What a finish. Our review is next.